Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to Hockey Game History. The series where we take a look at hockey video games that have been released over the years to see if they still hold up today. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at our third 2K game of our series as we look at NHL 2K9. NHL 2K9 was developed by Visual Concepts, published by Take-Two Interactive, and was released on the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii, and Xbox 360 consoles between September 8th and November 14th, 2008, dependent on which console it was released on and the region it was released in. Now, the game's cover features former Columbus Blue Jackets forward Rick Nash on the front, and the game received mixed or average reviews upon its release including highs of 8 out of 10 by GameZone and IGN for the Xbox 360 version. It's a good thing we're playing this one then, folks. And 7 out of 10s from Nintendo Power and the original Xbox magazine. But it did receive low reviews like 23 out of 40, which is just over 5 out of 10, from Famitsu, and 6 out of 10 from GameSpot. So th this game has had a lot more mixed reviews and a lot more of a range of views compared to some of the previous iterations we've played. But I, I think I can see why, and we'll go into that now. NHL 2K9 doesn't really include any new major features compared to its 2K8 counterpart. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It sucks, doesn't it? There aren't any new features, apparently. Instead, the developers focused on new control options, improved graphics, a larger variety of animations, and presentation changes. Now, I must admit, it's quite bad that the game doesn't include any new features, if, if you ask me, as it kind of makes you question the whole point of releasing a game that's pretty similar to the previous iteration, except for looking a little bit nicer. All I can say is, I hope these updated visuals and controls are very much improved compared to 2K8, because I will be pretty disappointed if after a year of development and no new major features added to the franchise, if the game still feels clunky, I will not be happy, ladies and gents. But anyway, now that we know what we're playing, let's have a go, shall we? So it, wants to, it seems to want to match us, match us up with the Detroit Red Wings and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Of course, the Stanley Cup finalists of the last season and this season, I believe, as well. So let's do it. Yeah, let's play as the Red Wings against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Let's do it. So the one thing I'm really happy about in this game, they've managed to, they've brought in the, the stick again, and I think you can shoot with it, the pro stick. And they've brought back the shooting as X and the passing as A. It's brilliant. I love it. It's fantastic. They've taken it off the bumpers. And I'm so glad that they have. So, th this is Hockey Town. The Joe Lewis Arena. Well, they don't play there anymore, do they, folks? Uh, bye, Joe Lewis. You had a good run there. A couple of Stanley Cups in you as well. You're fine. So, here come the players. I'm not going to skip it. We want to see the players come out. And here they come, the Detroit Red Wings. Henrik Zetterberg, Holmstrom, Marion Hossa, Lidstrom, Rafalski, Chris Osgood. Uh, some good Hall of Famer or good Detroit Red Wings alumni there. Beautiful. So, here we are. I mean, I must admit, the menus and the game does look like it's improved visually, but not by a huge amount. Okay, here we go for the face-off. And win that face-off, good. With the A button, I know what to do. Right, Henrik Zetterberg. So it's... Oh, God, we got hit. Oh, nice hit on Ray Whitney. So it's B to hit, I believe, as well. Oh, we hit Evgeny Malkin. Oh, Sakura, he's in. Oh, lovely save by Chris Osgood. Beautiful save, son. Right, so it's right trigger, and we now have the bar there, which is nice. And we can shoot with the stick. Brilliant. So one thing I hated about the pro stick uh, last last game was how you couldn't actually shoot with the bloody thing. All right, careful, careful. We'll just take a standard shot. Nice, good try. Oh, good hit there. Oh, one of our players is a little bit banged up. Some of our players are running out of, of uh, health here. Sidney Crosby, of course. Star Pittsburgh Penguins still is. Holmstrom had no speed whatsoever. So Stuart and Nicholas Cronwall. God, Nicholas Cronwall. He's looking towards the end of his career. There he is, the magic man himself. One of my favourite players of all time, Pavel Datsuk. Bring him here. Let, let's play, Datsuk. Let's play. The magic man deserves a goal or two. All right, come on, boys. Johan Franzen. Oh, what a hit. But none of my players were actually paying attention. So the AI isn't really that good, if you ask me. Well, no worries. We've got the puck. Pavel Datsuk. We've got the puck. Got the puck. Oh, look at that spin. Didn't mean to spin it. Oh, and Johan Franzen scores the opening goal. 16-10 left in the first period. Franzen scores past Marc-Andre Fleury for the first goal of the game. 3-49. Look at, look at how tall his head is. 
He must have a giant forehead in that helmet. Look at it. Bloody hell. It's a nice goal, though, Franzen. Nice goal. Is that assisted by Pavel Datsuk? It should have been. Because Datsuk, with that little spinner arm, he tries to take the shot. Now it's taken by Satan or Satan, however you wish to call him. And Franzen, boom, in it goes. Lovely. What a snipe. Flurry had no chance on that one. So good, the Datsuk line gets some magic going early. We win the face-off. Good work. I don't like the fact that they kind of feel really slow when you control them. Oh, my God. Pavel Datsuk, you almost scored a goal, boy. Good try, sir. Good try. Oh, good. On Jordan Stall. I forgot Jordan Stall was a Pittsburgh Penguin at one point. It's really weird to think now. Yeah, like, the players feel really slow. If you don't, if you don't do the speed boost, your players feel really, really slow, which is interesting. Datsuk, you want to get that? No, okay. No, take your time. It's fine. To Gil, Hal Gill. Oh, to Satan. Satan, no goals allowed. Right, Johan Franz, and he has the puck. He's not very fast. Pavel Datsuk, he's in. Oh, oh, is he still in? Good. Pass. Oh, I tried to press the shoot button, but I pressed B instead. I should have. I wanted to do a one-timer there. Because I'm trying to do a variety of both normal stuff and using this stick. All right, Stuart, pass. Jiri Hoodler, he's a fast player. Shot. Oh, save there. Johan Franz is still with the puck. Datsuk. Oh, Johan Franzen. Nah, not happening. Rafalski, he's on. Who, who, who's this? Who's this? Lidstrom. Oh, do we have Steve Eisenman? We must have Steve Eisenman, right? Yuri Hudler. No, he's, he's not still playing at this point. Is he in his career? I don't know. Shot. Good try there, Datsuk. Oh, Datsuk just decides to go and hit the boards. Come on, boy. Oh, good, good, good. Nicholas Lidstrom, the, the man himself. One of the best defensemen to ever play the game. I remember when Nicholas Lidstrom retired. It's one of the big sort of milestones from when I first started watching hockey. Shot. Oh, good save on Johan Franzen by Marc-Andre Fleury. Sergei Gonchar, of course. Good hit there, Datsuk. Yeah, they seem really slow unless you're using the, the speed boost. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't think there's another button for boost either. Like, is there a sprint button? I don't think there is. Oh, good hit by Lidstrom. Oh, couple of chances there, but Rafalski comes back and makes the stop. Yuri Hudler, he's a speed demon. Apparently, he's not really going that fast at the moment. Okay, good shot attempt there. We need to get a few more passes in there. Sakura. Oh, I hit one of my own players. Because Lidstrom to Crosby, to Sakura. Oh, good job, Osgood. Good job, Rafalski with the puck. We need a line change here or something. How do we change lines? Oh. Okay, I tried to pass it there, but I don't think it did what I asked. Oh, that was bad. Evgeny Malkin. Get hit. Him playing wing. Lebbed up. Good, good. Right, Datsuk, you are exhausted, son. Datsuk, take a line change, please. You've played for like five minutes. Oh, lovely save by Chris Osgood. Uh, Osgood. Over to Datsuk. Why isn't there a line change? Oh, that was a slap shot and a half. Right, get Hoodler. This this line has been on the ice forever. Oh, good. Datsuk. Oh, and Pavel Datsuk scores. Oh, the bow and the arrow for the alternate captain, Pavel Datsuk. Beautiful. There you go, son. The magic man. 16.04 into the first period. 3.55 left in the first. It's a 2 0 lead for the Detroit Red Wings. The defending Stanley Cup champion, Detroit Red Wings, I think. I can't remember. Was it Pittsburgh that won it first or Detroit? Because I know they both went to back to back finals. I think it was Detroit won it first and then Pittsburgh won it. Don't quote me on that, though. Good work, though, gents. Good work. So it's the first forward line out now Holmstrom, Zetterberg, and Hosa. Good. I'm glad that we finally got a line change. We really needed that. Marion Hosa, because then he went and signed with Pittsburgh afterwards, didn't he? Hosa. Oh, look at that. Streaking into the zone, Marion Hosa. What a tremendous effort from Marion Hosa. What a goal. We're 3 0 up already, folks. Are we playing on rookie difficulty or are we playing on pro? I'd be interested to see that. Actually, let's actually take a look, shall we? Um, options. I just want to check because I don't want to be doing this on a. Yeah, we are playing on pro difficulty. Good. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't playing against a load of chumps and I was basically cheating my way to victory. I've played on pro diffi uh, difficulty, I should say, for all of these. Yeah, I don't like the fact that it takes some ages to actually get going. Oh, that's a good shot attempt. Over. Oh, go on. Oh, Henrik Zetterberg. 
Marc-Andre Fleury is having a right mare in the net right now. The assistant captain, Mr. Henrik Zetterberg. First goal of the game for him, 17-03. Let's look at this goal again. What a beautiful play. Zetterberg passes it over. It's the shot attempt. Then Zetterberg picks up the loose rebound. Fleury's a little bit late to try and get that. And that's all she wrote, folks. That is all she wrote. Get out of the face off your mug. Come on. Do the face off properly. The ref knows. Right, we tried the face off. Win Brooks or pick, of course, playing with the Crapitals right now. Tyler Kennedy. God, do you remember when he was relevant in the league? Ruslan Fedotenko. Remember when he played for the New York Rangers? God, these are some old names. Shot. Oh, Saborin. Ah, so Mark andre Fleury has been pulled in the game. And I'm not surprised, in fairness. Oh, no. Osgood with the save. Beautiful work. Marin Hosa is on the move. Come on, Hosa. Come on, Hosa. Slap shot. Oh, Saborin makes the save. So I'll try a slap shot. So the slap shot and the wrist shot work a lot. Oh, that was a solid hit. Oh, there's a fight. Well, I've got to make sure I do this. Control the player's balance. Weak punch and strong punch. By right, Tyler Kennedy against Stewart. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's he punching me loads? Come on. Some strong punches. Some strong punches. Good work. Good work. Oh, 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 oh. don't you dare. Don't, no, I'm getting, some, I'm getting some light punches and some strong punches. Loads of different types of punches on you, son. Forget about it. Forget about it. I will punch you till the end of the earth. Come on. Get some good punches there. You've almost taken him down. Yes! Stewart takes down Kennedy. And the fight is won by the Detroit Red Wings. Oh, he doesn't know where he is. He's like, what year is it? Did we win the cup yet? Chris Letang and Hal Gill against Lidstrom and, L and Rafalski. So that's a good fight. Managing to get some stuff going today, folks. Good face-off attempt. Good face-off attempt. Oh, that's a shot. Right, go. Holmstrom, go. We're running out of time. Oh, my God. You're so slow. Wow. Thomas Holmstr Holmstrom. 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 He's really slow. So, at the end of the first period, it's a 4 nothing lead. And we've managed to get Marc-Andre Fleury pulled from the Penguins' net. Ah, oh, some of the stars have scored some goals. Look at that. The bow and arrow. Quatang. Got oh, some beautiful goals we've got going on here. Hosa. Datsuk. Zetterberg. And somebody else has scored. Franzen. It's so all of the Detroit Red Wings stars. 13 shots on goal. Face-off percentage 57. Not too bad. Hits 10. Penalty minutes 5. Drive the Zamboni. Yes. You're damn right I want to drive the Zamboni. Oh, we can drive the Zamboni. This is awesome. Oh, right. So clear the ice before time run, runs out. Left stick steers. Brake reverse. Left trigger. Right trigger. Accelerate. Oh, my God. I'm living the dream here, folks. I'm living the dream. We finally get to use the Zamboni. Okay, so let's just let's just chill out around here. Right, let's go round. Let's go round the uh, the side of of the rink. I'm gonna crash this Zamboni so many times, but it, it's it's important. Just let it take us round. So we'll make sure we do all the outskirts of the rink. Just make sure that's all done. Then we'll start cutting in and doing some of the corners. Right, so that's all done. Good. So we'll, we'll take a slight turn. Oh, okay. Not exactly the turn I wanted to take, but better than nothing. So we'll cut into this slightly. Oh, careful. Try not to slide too much. Oh, God, I'm losing control. I am on ice, in fairness. Right, good turn. Oh, now we're getting the hang of this. Now we're getting the hang of this. Look at these little drifts. Oh, we've almost cleared half of the ice already. Look at me go. Look at me go. I'm a king at this. I'm a king at this. Look at me clearing this ice like a boss. Ah, oh, beautiful. I cut into this ice a little bit more. Good, good. Look at me go. Oh, I'm losing control. Just curl around here. Clear that ice. Beautiful. We've cleared over half the ice already. And I think we had, what, three minutes to do this? Easy. Easy. Oh, we left a spot there. Left a spot there as well. We'll come back for those spots later. I slow down slightly. Slow down slightly. Just so we make sure we get as much of it as we can. Oh, we are doing a tremendous job here. Look at how much of the ice we've cleaned. It's not exactly the cleanest job we've ever done. But it's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Look at that little slide. Beautiful. 69% of the ice done. Good. This, this is fine. This is tremendous. This is great. Look at me go. This is what NHL 18 is missing, ladies and gents. A Zamboni mode. Right. And then let's reverse up and clean the ice this way. Look at this. There you go. Oh, no. We're not actually cleaning the ice this way. Whoops. I wasted time. I wasted time. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, clean the ice, damn it. So you can only clean the ice when you're, um, 
when you're doing it that way. Interesting. Good to know. Careful. Good. Get that turn. Get that turn. Get that turn. I think there might be an achievement if we get 95% of it. We're getting there. We're getting there. Good work. Good work. Good work. 88%. Oh, we're running out of time here. Oh, yeah, just cut through this bit. Don't worry about it. 90% done. Oh, we got this bit to clean. Oh, look at that. Now, that is a good clean. Oh, we're so close to 95%. Come on, game. Come on. Give me 95%. 94%. Come on, 95%. 95%, yes! We've cleaned 96% of the ice. Come on, Zamboni! We're almost done! Zamboni, go for it! We've cleaned an extra 0.1%. Get this last bit! And... 96.5%. Zamboni Pro, you're now good enough to resurface the ice at the local rink. I mean, I'd probably crash the Zamboni far too many times. Ah, oh, that's fun. I like that you can do that in between periods. NHL 2K9, you have gained some points with me for that. I thought you said there were no major features in this game. Bloody Zamboni! Oh, that's tremendous. That's tremendous work. I might have got an achievement for that. I'll have to check after the video. Win that face off. Good work. Oh, Marion Hose is in straight away. Oh, yes, yeah, the right stick down to shoot now, isn't it? Oh, careful, careful. Zetterberg, go for it. Nope, okay. Oh, I... <laughs> Rafalski is... Bloody pinching. Oh, yeah, Sidney Crosby, you can take that one. Oh, good pass attempt. Good hit. Oh, and there's a hit. Bit of extracurricular activity. So, Hoodland, Datsuk, and Franzen. They scored two goals for us this line. So is the other line, in fairness. So, both of our first two lines are rocking at the moment. So, it's down on the right stick to take a shot, and it's offside. Okay, 18.35 left in the second. 4 nothing lead for the Detroit Red Wings. I mean, I, I will I will say, this game does look a hell of a lot better than the previous one. Like, they've, they've taken the time to actually learn what the, uh, the um, future of gaming has, or, like, the new technology has to offer. Oh, oh, go. Over. That's not who I wanted to pass to, but it kind of worked. Good. Puck frozen. 17.41 left in the second. Yeah, they, they, they've finally learnt, like, the capabilities of the technology of the time. And they've managed to get it going, which is fair play. Oh, Zetterberg had a couple of good chances there. Lidstrom, this is yours, boy. Oh, careful, try not to get hit. Lidstrom, over. Oh, Zetterberg tries to take a shot. Oh, that was off the post. Right, Marion Hosa, good hit, son. Okay, maybe not. Ugh, hit him. How gill. Meet Cronwall. No, okay. Couple of good opportunities for them there. Marion Hoser, he's on the move. Oh, he's found space. Oh, Marion Hoser. The defence could have taken him down, but that's his second goal of the game. Marion Hoser. Beautiful. Second goal of the game, 4.15 of the second period. Look at this puck go. Snipe past the boring. They're loving it. They're loving it. Can we get a hat trick for... Marion Hosa, who knows? We'll find out. Pavel Datsuk, one of the best face-off guys in the National Hockey League. Johan Franzen, he's in. Oh, so boring with the glove save. That was beautiful. Ugh, there you go. Datsuk, oh, tried to take a shot. Pascal Dupuis. Oh, delayed penalty. Probably for my hit. Yep, we're on the penalty kill. No worries. So it's Maltby, Draper, and Stewart. Haven't seen both those forwards so far this game. We've just been rolling the first and second lines. Oh, sorry. Sorry, ref. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm just getting a bit excited, you know. Just want to make sure I beat Sidney Crosby. Uh, he beat us. Oh, no, that is a solid hit by Nicholas Cromwell. They would have had a solid chance there. Sidney Crosby. Nope. No, Crosby. Forget about it. To Maltby. To Chris Draper. Draper. The snipe attempt. Good try. Good try. Okay. Oh. Right. Yeah. Get your get your speed stuff back. Come. Oh. Good play. Go on, Maltby. You don't have any speed whatsoever. Oh. The one-timer attempt. Oh, I think Cromwell might have had that in front of the net. I might have actually got a rebound chance there. Good hit by Cronwall. I don't have any <laughs> any uh, boost whatsoever. Chris Draper with the shot attempt. Good. So it's a five on four at the moment. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, careful. Ruslan Fedotenko. Soz, mate. Oh, Stewart. Go, son. You're in on a breakaway. Ah, oh, Stewart. You could have had a short-handed goal there. 
Zetterberg with the one-timer. Good try. Datsuk with the good physical play. Right, so we've killed off the penalty. Good work, gents. I'm killing this game right now. Oh, now that is a hit from behind, if ever I saw one. Over. Ah, oh, Zetterberg. What are you playing at, son? Back to the defense. Oh, Saborin's there to make the save. Hit him. Oh, hit Chris Letang. Come on. Oh, no, that was a bad play. Good, just about got him. Lidstrom over to Holmstrom. He has no speed whatsoever. To Hosa. Oh, Hosa. Oh, good. Good. Get some good chances here, though. Okay, Lidstrom. Good hit on Sakura. Beautiful effort. Over to Marion Hosa. He's back on the ice. Oh, nice hit. Zetterberg, you are exhausted, son. Oh, that was a nice little spin, wasn't it? Still haven't scored, though. All right, let them get some of their boost back. Thomas Holmstrom to Marion Hosa. Snipe! Ah, oh, I wanted to snipe it. Good try with the hit. Good hit. Ledba. Ledba. Go, son. You're through. Oh, good try. Oh, tried to hit him there as well. Crosby. Meet Zetterberg. Lilia. Boosh. Nice. They're just walking straight into my hits, which is great. Thanks, guys. Oh, that was a block in front. That was a great block. It's a lovely sound for the slap shot, though, as well, wasn't it? This is like somebody's cracking a whip. Careful. Lovely save. Lebda. Over to Marion Hosa. Snipe. Oh, come on. Thomas Holmstrom. Boosh. All right, Sakura. Lilia to Malkin. Ah, so Malkin and Crosby are playing on the same line here, are they? We need a line change really bad. Go get a line change, boys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what a save by Saborin. That could have easily have been 6-0. I don't like the proportions of the goaltenders here. I don't know if it's their padding or something, but their heads seem really, really small compared to the rest of their body. Win that face off. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, ref. Datsuk's just getting a bit excited. He's already scored a goal. He wants another one. You know how it goes. It's a good face off win. Shot. Oh, it's in front. Datsuk. Oh, Datsuk had at least two whacks at that. Go on, Hoodlap. Oh. Go on, Franzen. Oh, missed him. Hit somebody else. Probably not very good. Ugh. Oh, we sandwiched him, Datsuk. Oh, no, that was a good attempt. Come on. Save it. Good. Over. Over to Rafalski, the defenseman. He's in. He's in. And Saborin makes the save and he freezes the puck. Oh, so 23.9 seconds left in the second period. It's a 5 0 lead for the Detroit Red Wings. Come on, boys. And win that face off. Lovely. Oh, we lost it. Don't worry. Send it towards net and good things can happen. Oh, Matt Cook. That little mug. Right. At the end of the second, a 5 0 lead for the Detroit Red Wings. I must admit, I am enjoying this game. I am definitely enjoying this game. I don't like the fact that when you pass the puck to somebody, it's almost as if any sort of skating they've done before that is completely worthless. I like the fact that they put the face-offs back. I like the fact that they've added shooting into the... Um, like the fact that they've added shooting into the pro stick. That's really helpful. I also like the Drive the Zamboni minigame. Like, that's awesome. Thanks for bringing that in. I'm not going to play it again because I've already done it once. But five goals on 27 shots. Face-off percentage of two-thirds. Hits 14 out of five, uh, 14 to 5 in favour of us. And penalty minutes 7 to 5 in favour of us. Because we've got the extra minor on top of the fighting major. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this game. It's definitely a step up from 2k8. I will give them that. It has got its little problems here and there. But they, they took a year to sort of focus on, on the, the, the overall quality of the gameplay. And whilst that means they didn't bring in any new features, I, I quite like that. Like, it's actually lived up to the hype, I would argue. Oh, that's a good try. Johan Franzen with another opportunity. Oh, wow. We are getting some good one-timers there. The one-timer doesn't seem as a surefire goal as some of the other games as well. Maybe it's just the position that I'm firing them from. But um, some of those, like in NHL 18 or NHL 2K7 or 2K8, would have been surefire goals. So I'm, I'm interested. That, that's, that's an interesting uh, development, I would say. Sakura, Good, good. Oh. Careful. Careful. Where are we going with this? Over. Okay. Holmstrom. You didn't actually pass that puck, dude. 
Okay, slow as hell. Oh my goodness, I did not expect that to go there. I wanted that to be a low pad rebound shot, but don't know if you can do them in this game. Oh, take out Crosby. I've never actually laid Crosby out on the ice, which is a shame. It's all I want in my life now. Oh, that was a bad hit. I shouldn't have hit that guy. Good Hosa. Good Hosa. Go on, take Gonchar out. There's Crosby again getting hit. I've given Crosby no leash. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shot. Oh, that one just whistled wide. Damn it. We are we are doing some good stuff here. Oh, that's a redirection. Oh, Holmstrom with the second opportunity. Had a chance there. All right, Cronwall's got it. Let's go, boys. Yeah, the actual, like, standard skating is really slow. I have no idea why that's the case. And I don't like it. Over. Oh, good attempt. Marin Hosa. Marin Hosa. Zetterberg, and he scores. Second goal of the game for Henrik Zetterberg. Lovely. So, two guys on that line have a pair of goals. That's why they're our scoring line. Beautiful work. 6-0 lead for the Detroit Red Wings over the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nice work. Nice work. Let's have a look at this again. Okay. I wanted to see the setup a little bit more, but all right then. Just gets it and rips it. Saborin's going right. We shoot left. Or we shoot our right. He was going our left. Right. Good, good. I want another goal for Datsuk. He's a star. Oh, that's a great hit. And Osgood manages to play the puck. That is a smart defensive play. Are they going to break the shutout? Or are we going to get the shutout on this? Oh, Yuri Hoodler. Yuri Hoodler, he can't split the D. It's offside. It's offside. Oh, was that offside for them? Not quite sure, actually. Good, Hoodler. Good. Good. Slap shot attempt. Good. Get it on goal. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Chris Letang, you get hit, son. Come back on side, boys. Offside rule. Right, Lidstrom's coming out. And the Orpic defensive pair is coming out. Come on, gents. 10.41 left in this game. Let's get something going here, boys. Chris Draper. Oh, 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 that almost went in. Oh, that, that third line would have just come on and scored a beautiful goal. That was so close to going in. Ruslan Fedotenko can't quite get it. Draper over to Daniel Cleary. I think it's Daniel Cleary. Shot. Oh, save. And another shot and the goal. The rebound opportunity for Cleary. And that's the seventh goal of the game for the Detroit Red Wings. Beautiful work there, gents. Nicholas Lindstrom's happy with that. He probably got an assist on the play. That's the fourth line. Kopecky, Filpula, and Samuelson. I think this is the first lot, the first time our fourth line has come out this entire game. That's interesting. Wonder why. I mean, I'm not really complaining. We're seven nothing up, so it's obviously worked for us in some way. Come on, Osgood, get this puck out for me, son. Yeah, sometimes the actual controlling of some of these players is a little bit finickety. So Boren manages to make the save. Well well played, dude. Well played. Okay, Samuelson. Good work. Oh, that's a good play. It's a good play. Over. Boop. Ah, oh, good try, Kopecky. Because they don't get enough power on it for the one-timer. Oh, shot and a goal for Kopecky. Or Kopecky, however you wish to call him. Number 82 for the Red Wings. An 8-0 lead now for the Detroit Red Wings. I think I've got this game's number now. Thomas Kopecky. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. So, it's the Hoodler Datsuk Franzen line again. Let's do this. Can we make it double digits? We've got six minutes left to play. Can we make it double digits? Oh, that was close to making it double digits. I will give him that. Johan Franzen, good move. Oh, saved by Saborin. I love how they they look to make the pass first instead of freeze the puck first. I really I really like that the AI does that. The AI goaltender, that is. Oh, good, Hoodler. Let's go, son. Slap shot. Oh, good try, good try. Always looking to make that pass. It's basically like playing against a person on NHL 18, which is nice. Like, the AI always focuses on trying to stop the pass. Oh, Hoodler. Go, Hoodler. There you go, Yuri Hoodler, ninth goal of the game for the Detroit Red Wings. Can we make it double digits here? The two Stanley Cup finalists and Yuri Hoodler with his first goal of the game. Wow, 9-0. The home fans must be loving this. Comes in on the breakaway, whacks it in. 
beautiful goal there, ladies and gents. Dink, in it goes. In it goes. Beautiful. Right, Maltby, Draper and Cleary. One more goal for us in the last four minutes of the game. Would be tremendous. One more goal is all I'm asking for, boys. Draper's in. Oh, that was so close. Over. Oh, Saborin makes the save. Maltby give him the chance to make the pass out. Nope, doesn't want to do it. Fair dues, fair dues. Three minutes exactly left in the third period. It's a 9-0 lead for the Detroit Red Wings. I seem to know how to play this game. I've only played like one or two games of this, but I seem to know what I'm doing. It's because they've added the stick in. They, they've added the pro stick in so I can take shots when I want to. And I can somewhat aim them where I want as well. Oh, careful. Don't let them break the shutout. Good. Let's keep this shutout, boys. Okay, Chris Draper. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Over. Good pass. Oh, good stop. Yeah, it, it is aiming the shots where I want to put it, so good. Hopefully we'll get a line change here. 126. We've got the second defensive pair out. Ah, the fourth line's out again. Well, Kopecky managed to get a goal for us last time. Can we get one for Philpula or something? Let's find out. Slap shot in, and it's a goal! It's a goal whacked in by Valtteri Philpula. I called it. I absolutely called it, ladies and gents. Oh, what a game here. Valtteri Philpula, first goal of the game, 18.42 in. Show me what happened there. The shot goes in. The goalie doesn't quite keep possession of it, and Philpula just has to whack it in. And there you go. Double digits. A 10-0 lead here for the Detroit Red Wings. Wow. Talk about... Oh, and another one! <laughs> Kopecky with his second of the game. And it's 11-0 to the Detroit Red Wings. Oh, my word. What a snipe. He had no idea where that was going. Did I hit the crossbar and go in? Oh, what a great effort. Can we make it 12-0 before the end of this game? We actually might be able to, judging by how well this game's gone for us. This has been an absolute destruction. Careful. No, hold, hold the, hold the shutout. Yes. And an 11-0 victory for the Detroit Red Wings over the Pittsburgh Penguins. What a game. All the shots Chris Osgood faced. Not many of them. But the ones he did face, stopped them all. An 11-0 victory on pro difficulty i think i'm ready for the higher difficulties in this game i don't know about you oh my word what a game though beautiful so let's also save that we might have unlocked some achievements there don't know if there's an achievement to win oh we have unlocked some achievements definitely let's take a look at the ones we unlocked then shall we so achievements let's have a look four out of 38 10 user minutes total of 10 assists five user goals and we got the one user win the last time I played this game. So, managed to get three achievements worth five gamer score. Is there not one for the uh, Zamboni? Or is it like do 100% of the Zamboni? Because that's going to be a difficult one. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Nah, it doesn't look like it. So, in terms of what I think about this game, um, it's definitely a step up from NHL 2K8. Like, it looks better, it feels like it plays better, and whilst it didn't add any major features, it added some of those minor tuning features. Like, it's fine-tuned the stuff that worked from 2K8 and 2K7, or some of the stuff that wasn't in 2K8 but was in 7 and worked. They've, they've basically made a combination of 2K7 and 2K8, and it really works. I thoroughly enjoyed playing that. That This might actually, I might actually prefer this a lot more than 2K7. Like, those two, 2K7 and 2K9, are right up there at the moment. I can't quite tell which one is my favourite out of the two of them at the moment, but they are two solid hockey games. And I can... I'm a bit confused as to why this only gained mediocre reviews. Is it because that they didn't add any major features? Because, I mean, as I said at the start, like, if the stuff that they actually spent the year doing wasn't good, then I'd be really upset. But I, I found that game to be quite fun, and I don't think it's just because I scored 11 goals in the game. Like, the game itself was actually really enjoyable. Like, it, it was... I, I don't like how heavy some of it felt. That might be where some of the uh, reviewers may have been a little bit annoyed. Like, the game does feel a little bit heavy. Like, it doesn't feel like that fast-paced action. But then again, it was the 08-09 season that they were doing. Like, it wasn't a speed and skill game at that point. I don't think, anyway. There was a lot more fighting. There was a lot more hits. It was a more physical grind-down game. Which is why some of these teams won with the players that they had. Like, Cook and Gonchar and... And Cronwall and, and Holmstrom and like I, I I can see why this game might have got some 
bad reviews or some mediocre reviews because it feels a lot clunkier in some of their movement sense. All, all you've just got to learn is to hold your finger down on the right trigger, which shouldn't be the way. I don't like how slow the um, skaters skate when you're not holding down the right trigger. And some of these players are hella slow. Like, they are super slow, which is really irritating. But the actual overall experience, if everybody's slow, then nobody's slow, if you know what I mean. Like, you've got some of the faster skaters out there. They have that little um, emblem next to them whenever they have the puck. I, I like that. I think... I think this game is really good. I would recommend people picking it up. It's like a couple of quid. If you're wanting like a, a now sort of vintage, I guess you could say vintage. It's almost a decade old now. A more vintage hockey game. A more a more sort of classic hockey game. Give it a go. It was a fun game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So yes, I'm going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If there are any other games that you would like me to play for this Hockey Game History series, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll try and play as many of them as you want. Um, but please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!